Hey YouTube, how you doing? Hope you're all doing fine. Uh, I'm going to be doing another review this evening. <clears throat> now this movie is not a horror film, so it's something a little bit different for once. It's a film from Norway, so unless you can speak Norwegian, you're going to have to do a bit of reading. I apologise for that. It was released in 2010, directed by Hans Petter Molen, and this movie is called A Somewhat Gentleman. And the story is as follows. Ulrich is a somewhat gentle man. He has no special wishes and makes no demands. He does not give too much thought to what he does either. If he's given some food and a place to sleep, he will give people what they want in return, whether this be a little affection or a killing. Ulrich has killed some people and crippled a few. It's all part of the job when you're a gangster. Just like doing time. Now Ulrich is out again, and Jensen is waiting on the outside. He's a boss with professional pride, and it is important for Jensen that Ulrich kills the snitch that ratted him out. So the film centres around Ulrich, who is played by Stellan Skarsgård on the front there. He's a um, cinematic Swedish legend, so um, for all of you familiar with Scandinavian cinema, you'll know who Stellan Skarsgård is. <coughs> he plays Ulrich, who is a gangster, and he's just recently been released from prison after serving a 12-year sentence for murder. And he's not too happy because the reason why he was convicted is because he was ratted on by a snitch. Now, while Ulrich was inside, his boss Jensen, the crime boss, he was looking after his family and looking after Ulrich while he's inside. So when Ulrich comes out, he has a lot to owe to Jensen. Now, Ulrich is a changed man in prison. He wants to get on with his life and he wants to make it up to his family who have since moved on. Now, Ulrich's wife has moved on and basically told Ulrich's son that um, her father's, uh, his father's dead. So Ulrich's son doesn't want anything to do with him. And when he comes out of prison, he wants to make it up to them because he was quite bad in his, in his past. But now he's a different man. But to his um, difficulty, Jensen, the crime boss, wants Ulrich to take care of the snitch. Now, this is a matter of pride. And Jensen sees that if one of his men don't take care of their accounts, meaning their unfinished business, it's going to make the boss look weak. Because if the boss has weak men, he's going to look weak. So he really doesn't want to look weak to the opposing crime bosses. So he wants Ulrich to take care of matters and kill the snitch because they're tracked him down. Now Ulrich doesn't know exactly what to do. He's a changed man. As I said, he wants to redeem himself. And he doesn't want that lifestyle anymore, but he owes it to Jensen. And Jensen basically tells him, you either take care of the snitch or you're going to have a problem with me. So he's left in a very difficult situation. He has to go back to his old ways in order to clear this debt to Jensen. But at the same time, he wants to show his family that he's a changed man. So what happens in the end, that's, I'm going to leave that for you to um, see for yourself, because I'm not going to give any spoilers. But if yeah, if you want to know how it unfolds, then I would highly recommend you go out there and check this one out yourself. Now my thoughts on the film. Um, coming from Scandinavia, I had high expectations, and when I saw Stellan Skarsgård in this, I was really interested. And then I saw that it was a dark, feel-good comedy, so it had humorous elements, and that sold me, because Scandinavian dark humour is really, really well done. Um, the Green Butchers from Denmark is just a, a prime example. And although this is Norwegian, Scandinavian cinema in general is very similar to each other. So I had really high expectations that this was going to be something a little bit different from the usual Hollywood fare. And it really was different from Hollywood. It really did paint characters and none of them were exaggerated, although it's a dark humour film. Now the acting from Stellan Skarsgård made the film. He played a brilliant character. He was a guy to be feared, but at the same time he was very gentle. So you could kind of sympathise with him. Which, you know, considering his past, if you didn't know anything about his past, he, he could pass off as just an ordinary citizen. And that's the way, you know, the director and the writer of the film really had good character development in this one. And that's what sets it apart. That's what makes it unique. Stellan Skarsgård's character has so much depth and every other character has a lot of depth. And you really do care for these people. Now, the crime boss and the crime family, they were a little bit weird, like a little bit un incompetent. But at the same time, they never got out of touch with reality. They are to be feared, but at the same time, they have their own little sort of quirkiness to them. So, um, yeah, and then you've got Stellan, oh, not Stellan, um, the character Ulrich. He's staying with this older woman who is quite um, damaged uh, mentally. 
Uh, all the characters are kind of weird, but at the same time, as I said, they stay in touch with reality, which makes it really, really good and very, very unique. As I said, nothing is is exaggerated, but there are elements to the film that are very lighthearted but very um, in depth at the same time. So, you know, it really is a different film. And if you enjoy, you know, feel uh, feel good sort of gangster comedies from America and you want something a little bit different, then this one is definitely one to check out. Cinematography was excellent. The mood to the whole film, the colour was very grey, although it wasn't in black and white. The overall mood suited the personality that was Ulrich. Now this guy had lost everything, his family, he's running with the wrong people and he's still getting in trouble and he really does seem on the border of depression and that's exactly what the mood to the whole film is. And then as things are starting to look up for Ulrich, the, the mood and the um, picture quality starts to brighten a little bit. So there's a lot, a lot of depth, not only to the actual characters, but to the actual scenery and atmosphere that the director, um, Hans Peter Moland, created. So, um, yeah, very, very good and a very, very polished film. Now, the humour is there, but this is my biggest complaint with the film. It's advertised as a dark comedy, but I felt that the humour levels were few and far between. There were a few chuckles here and there, but it wasn't laugh out loud, and that kind of will mislead people going into it thinking it's a straight out comedy. It's not. It's more of a drama than anything else, a crime drama. But although it, yeah, it although it does say it's a dark comedy, and if you feel misled, you'll still get something out of it from the drama aspect because, it, as I said, very in depth, and it does paint a very real story. The characters are very real. And you really want the main character of Ulrich to pull through and um, to try and make something of his life. And then you've got, you know, the supporting cast were fantastic. Each and every one had a unique sort of personality. And there were no cardboard cutout characters. They were all very different. They all had their attributes. And they all contributed very well to a very well-polished film. So if you haven't heard of this one, then um, hopefully this review has gained a little bit more interest for it. It is a very good film from Norway. It's not a horror film, it's not bloody, there's only, well actually, there's hardly any violence in it at all. It's really just a character study of, of a changed man in prison, and how sometimes a stint in prison will change a person, and someone trying to get on with their life, but their past catching up to them. So, yeah, definitely a psychological sort of character study of a man trying to straighten himself out. It has some humorous elements to it, and it has some touching elements, I mean, a very deep story and some of it is quite moving, uh, especially when Ulrich is dealing with his family, his son and his, um, his son's fiance and child. That was all very touching. So it has a lot of elements in it. Um, my only criticism of it is it could have been just a little bit funnier, but having said that, still a very good movie and I would recommend it to anyone who is a fan of Scandinavian cinema even just to see Stellan Skarsgård's performance because very, very good. And I have to add that there are quite a few sex scenes in this. It's not hardcore, it's not very graphic, it's actually quite humorous, the sex scenes, but if that kind of thing offends you, then there's also a little bit of swearing in it as well, but um, nothing hardcore, so you shouldn't be able to, you know, you should be able to get through it with no problems. So that's my review of A Somewhat Gentleman. Uh, very, very good movie from Norway, and I would recommend it. So uh, until next time, take care of yourselves, have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.